Welcome to part two. Hey, if this doesn't make sense after this video, maybe you should come hang out, have some lunch together. We can work on some scale factor problems or two or six. Okay. Hey, remember the first video? The point was this. There's the point. Remember the area of the original shape multiplied by the squared scale factor equals the area of the copy. Okay, that was the big deal of the last video. Now we're going to do some practice problems. Did you write that formula down? If not, back it up and write it down, okay? So here we go. Just a few practice problems. I'm giving you three shapes. I'm giving you scale factors. So pause the video, copy the stuff onto your own paper. Use the formula to find the area of the copies. And then uh, when you hit play again, I'll go over the answers with you. Have fun. Okay, are you still there? Good, 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 good. Here we go. Let's solve these problems. First of all, I want the area of the copy. Remember our equation. Area of the original times scale factor squared equals area of the copy. So in this case, area of the original is 15. So I'm going to take 15 times the scale factor squared. That means 15 times 16. And using my handy dandy calculator, we get 240 units squared, right? Square units. Is that what you got? I hope so, because that's the right answer. Maybe you forgot to square the scale factor if you got it wrong. I don't know. You should always analyze your mistakes and try to figure out what happened so it doesn't happen again, because there's always another problem, another chance coming up. Here we go. The original. 8 times 14, well, that's 8 times 10, and 8 times 4, that's 112. Okay, so we've got to calculate the original, but then we're just going to take area of the original times skill factor squared to get area of the copies. I like to write the formula down each time before I start because it just reminds me about what I'm doing and what it means. You don't have to. Scale factor squared. So that means we're going to square both the top and the bottom. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. If it helps you to think of multiplying fractions by making a denominator, put a 1 under the 112. Okay. 112 times 9 is 1,008 over 4 which makes 252 square units. Is that what you got? Okay, I hope so. Sometimes people get mixed up a little bit squaring fractions. It just means you square each number in the fraction. Okay, it's no big deal. Finally, whoa, a triangle. That's crazy. Are you serious? Mr. Witcher, are you serious? No way. Yes way. Here we go. So first we need the area of the triangle. Remember, triangle is one-half base times height. So we're going to do base times height, which is 160. I'm going to cut it in half. That means 80. I had to go to ballpoint pen here to get this one to fit. Okay, so I have area. Area of the original times scale factor squared equals area of the copy. Area of the original, 80. We use the formula for area of a triangle, right? You can do this with trapezoids or octagons or anything else once you find the area, okay? Um, scale factor is one half, but we're gonna square it. That's 80 times one fourth. Just for a visual, you don't need to do this, but with a one on the bottom, it's easy to see that this is really uh, 80 over four. 20 
squared. Okay, so there's our three problems. And I made a special challenge problem for you. Special challenge. Okay, on this one, I'm giving you the copy, giving you the dimensions of the copy, and I want you to find out the area of the original and the scale factor is one third. Okay, go ahead and figure that out. Pause the video, do some work, and then we'll do it together when you come back. Okay, that's good. Let's see how this one works. Okay, so remember our uh, formula. The thing we have here, though, is the area of the copy, right? Which is 5 times 11, or 55. Okay, so we have that already. And we have the scale factor, so we can substitute that. We just don't have the area of the original. So, area of the original times 1 ninth, right? Because 1 times 1, 3 times 3. And then we could rewrite this in an algebra sort of way. And what we have here is a fractional coefficient. That's a different lesson, different thing altogether. But the way you get rid of a fractional coefficient is you multiply by the reciprocal. Okay. Multiplying by the reciprocal here makes a 1. That leaves me with the area of the original equals... 495. Okay, so anytime you've got the uh, area of the copy and you need to work backwards, we use the same formula, but you could just remember to use the reciprocal of the squared scale factor. Okay, that's a little shortcut you could use when you have to work backwards from the copy to get to the original. All right. Thanks for playing. Thanks for doing some practice problems. Hope you're feeling good about this stuff now. And uh, we'll see you next time.